Hey guys, I'm Zach. I am Brandon. And uh, we're going to go over the power clean with you today. Um, we're going to tell you some of the common errors that there are. Uh, the power clean is done in, in four major movements. You have the first pull, the transition, the second pull, and the catch at the very end. And the clean is one of the Olympic movements. It's actually called the clean because even though it's four movements, it's made to, when, it, when executed properly, it's made to look like one movement clean from the ground to the, uh, to the rack or the shoulder. So the first major issue that people have with the clean is from their first pull leaving the ground, they leave too fast. What that causes is you to lose control of the bar and it will leave the plane of your body. It also prevents you from having explosive power through the rest of the movements. And by leaving the floor too fast, you, you miss your, your second pull. So if you, if you slow down and go with a slow control movement, from the first pull through the transition up into the second pull, then you make sure you get that thigh, that proper thigh contact, and you can explode through what's called the triple extension, putting the most power that you can put into the bar. And also, you're, you're able to keep it close to your body, because when you start to explode too fast, it, it gets away from your body, and then you're chasing the bar, and you may be running forward when you're trying to catch it, and you're losing power. I mean, we don't want to do that because we're training for power. First, we're going to show you the wrong way to do it. This is going to be the proper way to do your first pull. Notice the difference in how slow he comes off the ground initially. So the second biggest error is too much hip contact going into your uh, transition phase. Um, what that will cause, again, is the bar to leave the plane of the body, causing you to chase the bar forwards, causing multiple things. You start running after the bar. If you catch it, uh, a lot of times you'll land on your toes, causing putting a lot of pressure on your knees and your ankles, and forcing you to go forwards. This also could cause if the bar leaves leaves the body too far. You to try and reverse curl the bar up instead of using that explosive shrug to move it up uh, to the rack position. And it's another it's another way of getting the bar out there too, too far in front of you and losing power. So some, sometimes people will try to slow down from their first pull to the second pull, and then they'll end up making that hard hip contact, and, and they'll end up with the exact same problem. So that, that's what we're gonna address right now. Again, the first way we're gonna show you is the wrong way. Notice how he has to catch the bar, and uh, perhaps reverse curl it up to the rack position if he can get it there. This time we're going to show you the correct way to do the hip movement. Uh, notice how he, he has nice more fluid movement. He's also not chasing the bar forward and he's able to complete his, his lift. The next issue we're going to talk about is using your arms to pull the bar up into your rack position. Um, what a lot of people tend to do is try and either start by rowing the bar up or reverse curling up and a lot of that happens due to your improper form for the first uh, two things that we showed you. So instead of pull, pulling the bar up or reverse curling the bar up, what you really want to do is let that triple extension, the extension of the ankle, knees, and hips, let all that force drive that bar up and your arms are really just there to hang on and then hook under and and catch it. But, so the arms aren't really doing a whole lot besides going along for the ride and catching it. Because if you start to reverse curl it, then you lose the power that comes from the triple extension. So the first way we're going to show you this is the wrong way again. To really exaggerate the, the reverse curl or the row of the biceps to get the bar up. Lastly, we're going to show you the uh, correct way to shrug the bar up using your triple extension, ankles, knees, and hips to get that explosive power.
Alright, so to wrap everything up, the uh, three major issues that we went over today for the power clean. First one is pulling the bar off the ground too fast. The second one was too much hidden contact. And the third one was trying to uh, curl the bar up and not using your explosive shrug to get it up into your rack position. If you can work on these things at light weight to really work on form, that'll help allow you to make your clean one nice, clean, fluid movement. One of the biggest ways to fix really all, all of those issues is to focus on the triple extension. That, the second pull, the uh, ex violent extension of the ankles, knees, and hips. If, uh, if you focus on your triple extension and try to perfect that, then you'll, your clean will essentially end up being perfect. So you can do that by focusing on just hang cleans or hang power cleans, where you start from the hang position and just end up in a power position instead of going all the way from the ground back to a deep squat position. And there are a ton of things with the clean that we didn't go over like hook grip, we didn't go over feet position, we uh, we didn't go in depth in the triple extension, but these, these are little things that if you actually do want to uh, execute these lifts properly, you should look, look into them more with a proper coach and a proper training.